Morning YouTubers, I'm down the van today. A bit of blue sky up there but it's spitting with rain. And I'm just going to go through some updates I've done or upgrades to do with the van. Um, they're very simple ones but they make a hell of a difference, you know, to living in a van. Uh, well, we don't, not permanent van lifers, we, um, we go away for a maximum of about eight weeks at one go. But to do with COVID or COVID, um, we've only sort of used it for like a week at the most. But um, I'll just go through one of the sort of upgrades I've done. Now, because the vans are quite close to this hedge, there's been a, a mouse infestation problem where mice have been getting into vans. And um, I thought I'd got one building a nest in mine. And uh, let's lift the bonnet. Right. And when I came down uh, to check everything, this area here had got like a nest being built. So as an upgrade, what I did, I, I bought one of these mouse car repellers, which is that thing sitting there. And it's to um, repel them. But I soon realised later on that it wasn't mice. And I noticed bird dropping there. And in fact, what it was, was a robin trying to build a nest in the engine compartment. Um, I didn't want mice in it, because you, you can imagine they will actually chew through the wiring and things. So I cleared the nest out, and as I say, later on I realised, because there was bird dropping there, it must have been the robin trying to get in. So that's one little upgrade I've done. And it's just clicked on. So that's good, it's still working. You can switch it off and on yourself. And uh, when you drive in, it senses the vibration and it switches it off. So it's not on while you're driving. Then after you park up, and uh, it'll go, it'll start again doing its job. So that's one little upgrade I've done to the van. Yeah, it's clicked on again. It's ultrasonic. Now I'll just go over another upgrade. Now they're all simple things. Now coming into the van and uh, what I've fitted on the dashboard here is an inclinometer and it's supposed to show you where the van is level front to back and left to right. And I bought this gadget and to be honest it's a complete waste of time but I've left it there because it looks good. Now oh, it's other modifications I've done recently. Okay, we'll start with another simple one. Now, in this Rambler GL, it doesn't have a cassette toilet. It's got a Thetford porta potty. And um, one of the things I've found, let's get rid of this bit of pipe out of the way, spare bit of pipe. One thing I've noticed has been a bloke, uh, when you're driving and um, you're going somewhere on holiday or an adventure and, and it's a long journey. You pull up on a lay-by and you want to pee. Or you can go in the hedge if it's not busy and things like that. Or you use your own toilet. The problem I've found is the van's not level, it's leaning. The actual um, lid, when you're standing as a bloke having a pee with your flies undone, if it's not level, this thing, the lid, acts like a mouse trap, and you can, you're halfway through on a pee and the lid will close, and you can't hold your trousers open and things like that. So what I've done, I've put a magnet there, and a washer there. So it's very simply, if the van's not level, it will hold this bit up for you when you have a pee. What a difference it makes, a simple thing like that, you wouldn't think it, you know, a washer and a magnet. You can imagine standing there and that slams down like a mouse trap. Uh, another small modification is to do with magnetic hooks, these things. Now, we would just have them in the van lying around because I know we can see in this van because of this carpet, there isn't that much area exposed 
that's metallic um, where the magnets are stick to. This is aluminium, so the magnets won't stick to that. This is wood. Fridge door is plastic at the front. I don't want to put it on the gas fire because you walk past it and these magnetic hooks. So where do you keep them? Originally they were just stuck on this light unit here and they look dreadful. So I thought I don't like that, I'm going to do something about that. So what I did, I found a scrap piece of metal and I put it in the toilet area here and as you can hang your towels on it as well. And it, you don't catch it on your arm or anything in the toilet area. And it's the same with these little peg things, clips here. We can put them on there and they're out the way. Very, very simple idea. But it makes a lot of difference. It's not in the way. Uh, we don't use the shower. We've disconnected it in here. We use this as a drying room. And um, we've got a heated towel rail in here. This hinge will actually hinge open, so you can hang your towels. So this is like a drying room, and um, we open this vent here. We have, when we're on hook up, we have the towel rail on. Put the towels over here, here, here. Anything wet, and um, we lift that mat because this is a shower tray here, and it all drains. Very, very simple there's a few cracks in that nowadays still it is nearly 30 years old this van this is the waste water container which sits in there when we're traveling um, right that's about it uh, oh yeah another use for your this this is your step which folds up but what you can do you can open it up turn it upside down put it in your shower area and that makes a nice little basket to put any spare fuel containers. Another use for it. You know, it sits on there. Fuel. If it does leak, there's a drain hole. So it's not a big issue. Okay, so there's that little thing you can do with this step. Right, I'm going to talk about something else now. Now up here, we've now got a cargo net. And this is where our bedding goes. And we've got some small uh, of those nets mounted inside the back door of the wardrobe. Where we can put paperwork or we can put underwear in there and things like that. So that's another little modification. I think most people have these. That's it. That's it. That's shut. Yeah, that's shut. Now then, back up here. This area here, uh, we put our bed in, but also um, we have some boards we can put under the tyres when we get if we get stuck in the mud and things like that. They're not waffle boards; they're a cheaper version of those. They're quite thin plastic boards we can put under the wheels. And I thought, well, it's not a good place to have them up there if we need them in emergency or needed to get them out quick. So I've moved the position and because this is such a small van I found a place we can put them in and we really don't even notice there's air and I'll show you that now. Now I'll show you where we put these boards. I'll open this up. I don't know where you could see it. They took there. Let me just shut that back door, it's gonna slam in the wind. Oh it has shut. There you go. So that's where we keep these boards. I can only see we've got just something tied around the bottom there. And they hang on a little hook. And as I say, that's where we fit them or put them. This is the original place for a table and uh, that's stored there and then what we also do is we store our water container in here as well and I'll talk about that next. 
Now then, if we're out for just a couple of days in the van, we don't bother to fill the main water tank, which is under here, 90 litres, because 90 litres is about 90 kilograms. So what we do, we keep this water container at home for drinking water, and we just fill that up. When we come down to get collect the van, we put it in the van. And again, in the winter, we drain the main tank down and taps and everything else. So the only water, there's no water in the van at all. So when we come down, we just bring that. But you can imagine, if you want to fill a kettle, you've got to lift that. And it's a bit too heavy for Jane. It's a bit fiddly. So recently, I purchased this pump. This is a rechargeable water pump and it comes with pipes and it's designed to go on top of a water container or you buy it with this stand and I'm thinking well we just want a temporary fix so that we can have water so the idea is I use the original pipe that come with it I had a piece of this fuel pipe never been used left over from a diesel heater I can unscrew the air vent on this container and simply I can poke this into the tank. Get it in like that. Just make sure that pipe's not kinked. Just let it there. Put that in like that. That's it. I'll get in the van and I'll show you it in operation. Here's the lighting in here, it's not very good today, but um, there it is, just standing here. The main sink and taps are over here, under that towel there. And uh, right, let's give it a go. Here's the lighting, it's dreadful. There we have it, working. Easy peasy. Well, I have to say, I'm really impressed with this pump. Absolutely brilliant. So simple. Really, really good. I don't know what length of pipe you can run it. But that one seems to work okay with the standard pipe on it with a little bit on the end so i'm really chuffed about that i've actually showed people this before this is a scrap piece of wood and i needed something to leave on a campsite when we took the van out to reserve it and it's a scrap piece of wood and i made a number plate up with the registration number of the vehicle and some of this safety tape and uh, we can use this as a table as well so as well as leaving on the campsite to reserve our spot with a registration number we can use it as a table and the first use is we can put it across here like that so when we're sitting down either Jane that side or this side we can put our coffee cups on it just just by resting it on the cushions and it's quite stable once you get yourself settled we can actually tuck it under the cushions if we want to so it's lower down but what I've done I've put one of these mounts on it as well so we can have it in the floor with the pole so that's the this is sort of the third use. A small coffee table across there to put your cups on. And it's that way up. We can put the pole in it and have it here. And with a couple of table mats on. These non-slip ones. We have our dinner on it. When it's set up as a small table. And Jane is learning to play the electronic keyboard. And the... Uh, electronic organ thing will sit on here when she's practicing 
and it doesn't take up much room in the van. We can also turn it round for coffee time as well and it makes a nice little table. So that's the third use for it. Leaving on the campsite to reserve our space, putting it across the cushions here to put the coffee cups on, having it here as a small table and uh, if you've watched early on in the video you will see there's a, a full size table which is stored near the sliding door. But the other thing, there's not a lot of um, workspace down here against the back door. You know, where this is up, excuse the state of the sink, it needs a good wipe down. There's not a lot of space here. Just by pure chance, I don't know what this piece of wood is here for. I think it's just to strengthen this this area here. So what I've done, I've drilled it, put a couple of pegs in, there's one there and one there, and this bit of wood, I've drilled two holes. And what you can do now is you can put this across here, slot it onto that rail. It can't come off because of those pegs. This door could be open or closed. This gives Jane another work surface across the back of the van. Such a simple thing, a scrap piece of wood. And that's it. Just those, you can see how scrappy the wood is. There's a hole there and a hole there and it just goes on to there in the holes. It's solid. You can put these covers on if you want. Make it look nice. Cross here. Like that. And there we have it. It's another work surface around the kitchen. This door will be shut from the toilet by the way. I've just jammed it open to get a bit of fresh air in everywhere. Very, very simple, simple idea, works a treat. Now, below the electric control panel here is this little shelf. So what can you use it for? Well, what I've done is I've bought one of these things which has got two, three cigarette lighter sockets and two USBs. And what I can do, I can plug that in there in the auxiliary outlet and then you can plug your phones into it and just drop them in here to charge. Also I've got a power bank here which has got four USB outlets on which we can charge from this. So that's another little useful gadget and we also keep hooks like this which we can put on to there to, to dry towels or we can hook them on there or we can hook them up here very useful bits of kit now because it's such a small van we haven't got room for leveling ramps or anything like that but occasionally we need to chock the wheels if we're on a quite a slope just for extra safety and we bought these wheel chocks and they're folding and um, they were very low cost. There's not a lot of room in our van and uh, I'll open one up and I'll show you exactly what they look like. This is what they look like and they've got spikes so you can uh, jam them under your wheel and the spikes stick in the ground and um, it's just stopped an extra precaution just in case your handbrake fails but with old vans it's always worth having some extra bits and pieces. They take up very little room, very lightweight, very low cost, really easy bits of kit, easy to fold up. Let's see if I can do it single handed. Yeah, I think I can. There we go. We've got a pair of those to, we can put behind the wheels to stop the van rolling um, if it's on a very steep hill.